My name is Dr. Emil Kenneth Khalil, and I had BPH. And in May of this year, I went in for the aqua ablation procedure. Prior to that, five years ago, I went in for a turk where they use a hot wire and kind of gouge you out. And my problem was not cancerous. It was just that I was retaining too much urine. It was getting too hard to pee. And so he rushed me in and, and took care of that with the terp. And then as the prostate starts growing back, it's, it, it starts getting a little bit harder to pee all the time. And so he, at the beginning of the year, uh, the doctor said, why don't you go for our new procedure, the aqua ablation? We just got a new machine. And I said, yeah, as soon as you get some experience. I've been going to see him every three, four months. And then he said, uh, what are you waiting for? You're retaining too much urine, let's get you in. And I said, how much experience? He says, we've had a lot now, you can do it. So I said, okay, let's go. So I researched it. And being a scientist, it made much more sense because it's computer controlled. They can dial in exactly how much they want to take out. Not where with the turp, it's hit or miss because it's manual, they're scraping you. And with this, uh, it wasn't. And the procedure is painless because you're under propofol. So you wake up, you're in recovery. And then it goes uh, pretty simple. And then after two weeks of a little bit of drops of blood coming out, the big thing was that I went home the next day without a catheter. And that's great because last time with the Terp, I had to wear a catheter for a week. This time, no catheter. And it was, uh, and I was urinating normal. And today, uh, Six months later, I can urinate without having to have to go. And I feel like I'm 40 years old again. Everything is working. It's, uh, it's a great feeling because it's no longer a worry. Maybe in five, 10 years, the prostate will grow back a little bit and they'll do the same thing. But at this point in my life, uh, I'm free. I'm young again. All my brother-in-law, my good friend, my partner have all had uh, cancer, prostate cancer. And I've never, never thought it would affect me because I haven't eaten meat for 40 years. I'm more of a vegetarian, pescatarian. And uh, I think it's paid off. Plus I, I stay healthy, I'm active. And so I never worried about cancer. I just worried, what's it gonna take to, to pee? And that, that solved a lot of my issues. So I'm grateful. And I recommend it. I have people who, one of my friends rides his bike up my hill and he complains about having to pee all the time and it's so hard. And I said, so I gave him the brochure on aqua ablation. And he goes, geez, this sounds pretty good. So, so we're good. This crew were great. The nurses took well, good care of me. The doctor came in, there was a little bit of blood clotting at the end, so they just took me back into the operation room and cleaned out the blood clots. So it was all done in one day. You really don't feel anything. It's a, a compared to what the pain you would go through by not having the procedure, it far outweighs taking the day out of your life to do the procedure. And the fact, again, I'm gonna say it, that you can go home the next day without a catheter is stupendous. He kept me informed. I talked to him all the time. He talked to my wife right after the surgery. Uh, and I feel that he's, uh, he loves what he does. He's got enough uh, practice now doing the aqua ablation that he's probably one of the experts in the field. Before the operation, the symptoms are that your bladder fills up and you can't pee unless it's really full, you know, it's like, and then the stream is small. And that's because the uh, urethra goes through the uh, prostate and it just gets compressed. And so they go in there and, and widen it. It's literally like a rotor rooter. So just, and how they widen it, are they gonna use a, a crude method like the turp with a hot wire or they wanna flush it out with high pressure water where they can just say, let's take off 10 thousandths of an inch and do it. And that makes a big difference. 
So, like I said, I can pee now without having a full bladder that says, you gotta go, you gotta go. I can avoid that at, at any time now. So it's a, it's a pleasure. See your urologist and ask him about new techniques other than TERP. Because I have a lot of friends who've had a TERP 10 years ago, and they go back every five, 10 years to get it reamed out again. And now with new techniques and new science, it's more computer controlled, so there's less chance of error, much higher chance of success, a high rate of success. You know, if you go to a football game or something, you never want to get behind an old guy like me at the urinal because it takes him too long to pee. So, and that's because their prostate is, is enlarged. So the thing to do is uh, get it rained out so you, you can go with the young kids. So I'm very happy with uh, St. John's. I love the hospital. I like the care that I get. And uh, I would come back here and I recommend it to all my friends.